Good morning, handsome. I can't believe we won the lottery. <laughs> this is so beyond insane. I mean, two million dollars. I know, I can hardly believe it, it's awesome. I can't stop thinking about it. What do you think we should do with it? We still haven't been able to talk about what we should spend it on. Well, maybe we shouldn't be so hasty. I mean, let's just sit on it for a little while. The possibilities are endless, my love. I know. I was thinking, though, we never did get to go visit my sister last year. That would be a fun vacation. Yeah, maybe. It's definitely a possibility. We can talk about it later. I'm just so happy. And I still can't even believe it. My mind is racing with the billions of things we could do. We've always dreamed of a life where we could do whatever we want. I know, babe. Should we really spend any of it, though? I mean, wouldn't it be good to stash it? We both make enough money to live comfortably. Well, yeah, but you only live once, babe. Besides, what are the chances of winning the lottery? Pretty low, I guess. It is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, which is why I think we should just be chill about it. Aw, babe, stop being such a downer. But okay, we'll just have to talk about it later. All right, hun. talk soon. Hey Cher, are you free to talk? Yeah, what's up? Well, you know how Lance and I just won the lottery? Like, everybody's dream come true? Yeah, I still can't believe it. I'm so happy for you two. I'm so happy too, but the thing is, I don't think Lance is. I don't know what to do. That's dumb, why wouldn't he be happy? You guys always have wanted to live the life of luxury. I know, that's why I'm so confused. He's been acting so weird. I've proposed a few things we could do with the money, but every idea I have, he turns down. So, uh, now he's some frugal genius. Lance has never been the kind to save money. Maybe it's like a trauma thing or something. I know, that's why I'm so confused. He's never cared that much about saving money, and now he doesn't want to spend a penny of our winnings. Has he been acting weird? Like, aside from the money? I don't know, he seems anxious about something. I think having this much wealth is too overwhelming for him. That could be... You don't think he's being shady, right? I don't think so. Lance is my life partner. He would never hide something from me. Or do anything to hurt me. Are you sure? Like, nobody ever knows that for sure. What? Of course I'm sure. This is the guy who cried when he saw me at our wedding. I trust him completely. Well, it just seems odd that he's acting out about money. Huge red flag. You guys have been married for over two years. I guess you never truly know someone through and through. I know it's weird, but I feel like I really do know him inside and out. Maybe I can figure out what's going on with him. I just need to do some more digging. If you need help or someone to talk to, text me. I'm worried for you. I will be okay, and will do, bestie. Love ya. Love ya. I just got an alert on my phone that $110 was taken out of our account. Would you happen to know anything about that? Babe, that's our phone bill. It's due every 23rd of the month. Silly guy. Oh, yeah. That's so weird. I must have forgotten. I guess you did. <laughs> Why are you so stressed about money? I'm not stressed about money. What are you talking about? But you are. Ever since our win, you've been super crazy over what we spend. We're millionaires, babe. We don't have to worry about money anymore. That's what everyone thinks, Allie, until they're broke again. I won't let that be us. We're not going broke anytime soon. You're an accountant and I'm a nurse. We make a lot of money. Poverty is not going to be an issue for us. You never know. An emergency could pop up at any given time. Well, yeah, but probably not a $2 million emergency. <laughs> I suppose not. Still, though, it doesn't hurt to be extra careful. I just don't understand your reasoning. Nothing bad is going to happen if we spend just a little bit of it. Do you know how much money $2 million is? Just stop, Allie. I told you I'm not comfortable touching it. We need to hold on to it. You're making me feel like a child. I know how to act with my money. I'm not saying you don't. I'm not trying to make you feel that way. As far as I'm concerned, I should get to decide anyway. I was the one with the ticket, Lance. That's not funny. At all. It's our money. We're married. We share a bank account. What's mine is yours and vice versa. That should be how it is, but when you start being a jerk about it, that's not the case anymore. Um, what? I'm being a jerk? Read back our texts and see for yourself. You're seriously being so rude to me. I thought it'd be a dream to share this thing with you, but it's turning into a nightmare. Ugh, I'm sorry, babe. I just never had something like this before. 
So have fun with it. Stop being so stingy. It's pointless and really upsetting me. The last thing I want is to upset you. I thought I was doing the right thing. I think it's great that you want to be better with money, but I also want to live a fun life. Okay, I understand where you're coming from. I'll talk to you later. All right, love you. Bye. Let me just tell you something. My husband is acting like a total jerk. Oh, shoot. Why do men have to ruin everything? I'm sorry, girl. What's going on? It's the same story. He's not wanting to spend any of the money. He's becoming more and more frantic about it. Jeez. It's just so odd and suspicious. I don't want to believe I would ever need to be suspicious of him. He's always been such a sweetheart. I don't get what's happening to him. Money can change people, unfortunately. They can become scary with it. I know that. I never would have imagined Lance to be someone like that. Do you need your best friend to help you investigate? I've always wanted to play detective like this. As much as I want to, I would feel so wrong about it. I mean, that's my husband. He would feel so betrayed if he knew I was conspiring about him. But he's the one that betrayed you. You said yourself he's being crazy about the money, when it's actually your money. But he said today what's mine is his and vice versa, and he's right. That's how it should be. Ugh, where's the alley I once knew? You're so obsessed with Lance. You have been since you met him. What? Come on, Cheryl, be real. I married the guy. Of course I'm obsessed with him. I just need you to realize how worried I am for you. It's incredibly scary that he's being so possessive. You have to see that. I do see it, but I also know my husband wouldn't hurt a fly. Everyone thinks that until it's too late. Ah, uh, that's like super dark. We gotta get inside his head, try to make him mad. Just keep pushing, spending the money, and if he starts getting mean or violent, well, you know he can't be trusted. I can't believe I'm having this conversation, but at the same time, I guess I have to do it. Yes, you do. Let me know how it goes. Hey babe, how was work? Very long and very annoying. I'm about to head home. I'm excited to see you. So I didn't have time to make dinner tonight. I'm really sorry. I know it's my turn. I'm just exhausted. It's no big deal. I'm sure we have leftovers of something. It'll be okay. Well, I was thinking we could just order in. It's just that we're both so tired. We should have a lazy night. No, that's okay. Leftovers are just fine. Why would we heat up old food when we can get food we actually want? Personally, I've been craving Mexican food. You've said so before how expensive delivery is, so just hold off on that. I can make us dinner when I get home. Babe, I really want to order from a particular place. I already got my heart set on it. Allie, if you spend money we don't need to, I'm going to be seriously angry. Huh? I don't want you to order in. There's no use in that when we could just make food at home. Don't be so frivolous. Excuse me? Since when do you tell me how to spend our money? As far as I can recall, I've always been the one reminding you to cut costs. Well, I'm trying to be different now. I don't want to mess up. Just don't spend anything. I'm serious. You're being ridiculous. I can do whatever I want. I might order in just to spite you. If you do, there will be consequences. You're delusional. How dare you threaten me? It's not a threat. I'm just trying to get you to see how serious I am. Oh, it's loud and clear. What kind of consequences are you talking about? I don't know. That was a stupid word for me to use. I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. You took the time to type it out. You're such a jerk, I should have kept this a secret from you. Clearly, you can't handle it. Ali, please, I said I'm sorry. Well, that doesn't cut it. You really hurt me. And if you ever threaten me like that again, you'll find yourself divorced. I'm staying the night at Cheryl's, and we'll just order in at her place. Please, don't be so dramatic. Just stay home so we can talk it out. Don't try to gaslight me. You're the one who is just freaking out and being dramatic. Let me know when you get over yourself, and then I'll come home. But if you keep acting like this, I'll get my own bank account again, and I'll put all the money in there. I'm sorry, babe. Please forgive me. Just stay home. You need to know how serious I am. I'll see you tomorrow night after work. Bye. Allie? Allie, seriously? Oh my god. Fine. Bye. Allie? I don't care if you respond, I just need you to know. I'm really sorry about everything. I didn't mean to make you feel threatened yesterday. You'll just have to make it up to me. You scared me. You've never acted this way before. I feel like I don't even know you. I don't want you to feel that way. 
I'm still the same Lance as always. I promise. Well then, start acting like it. Seriously. Okay. I'll do anything I can to make it up to you. Okay. Thank you. Also, where are my keys? Your keys to what? The shed. They aren't on the hook. Did you move them? No, I haven't seen them. Did you take them anywhere with you? Why would I do that? Ugh. I really don't have time this morning to be looking all over the place. I'll help you find them tonight. I'm sure they're around. But why do you need to get in the shed? My winter boots are in there. It's snowing and all I have are sneakers and heels. Maybe go to the store and buy some? Oh, so now you want to spend money. Weird, but okay. Well, I don't want your feet getting wet. Just trying to be a good husband. Well, that's a sweet thought. But why would I buy a new pair when I have some in the shed? Well, if you can't get in the shed, you might not have a choice. I might as well just break the lock on it. The doors are so flimsy. I don't have time to go buy new shoes or look for the key. Don't do that. I'm serious. Don't break the door. I'll try to get in there tonight for you. Are you not reading what I'm saying? I need some snowshoes, Lance. I know. I just don't think it's a good idea to break down the door. That's all. Well, then tell me where the key is. I told you I don't know where it is. Why would I have the key? I don't believe you. I'm finding that key. Allie, stop. You don't know what you're talking about. Please, Allie. Please answer me. Whatever. You're not going to find anything. I'm scared. What's going on? Is Mr. Man still being a jerk? More than that, he's being psychotic. And I just went searching through the house for our shed keys because I needed shoes? When I went to open his office, it was locked. What? Why would he need to lock his office? I picked the lock. I had to get in there. Did you find something? I did. I feel like I'm living a different reality right now. Um, oh, gee, it's bad, isn't it? Very. I found a planner. And pictures. There's like hundreds of pictures of him with another family. No freaking way. This can't be happening. It looks like the lady is his girlfriend. Or another wife? I'm not sure. But I found the key to the shed in his desk. I'm so sorry, Allie. Have you checked the shed yet? No, not yet. I'm scared to see what's in it. You got to. Just keep texting me and let me know. Okay, I'm headed out there. I can't believe this. I know, this must be so hard for you. I opened the shed. Anything weird in there? About 20 gasoline cans? What on earth? Gasoline? Yeah, I think I know what his plan is. You don't think. We just updated our life insurance plan right after we won. What? That didn't warn you enough? He said we would have a target on our back because of our win. It seemed so public, and I believed him. Never trust a man. You have to report this to the police. I will, but I want to confront him first. Over text, so there's no chance of him hurting me. Then I'll turn him in. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, I have to. I'll be there to pick you up in ten. Got it. Hey Lance, what are you doing? I'm at work, babe, just trying to finish up so I can get out of here. Oh, why's that? So I can help you find your shoes. I just need to do some digging in the shed. It's a total mess in there because of summer. I did so much yard work. Yeah, 20 canisters of gasoline really do make a lot of clutter. Huh? When did you buy all that? Oh, the gas? Yeah, it's for the lawnmower. This summer I was stocking up and ended up not using a lot of it. That's strange. So here's my next question. Yeah? When do you have time to mow your other wife's lawn? What? What are you talking about? You can quit playing dumb with me. I saw the pictures in your desk of your other family. You have two children with some brunette woman. Those aren't what they look like. I wonder what else they could be. Is that why you travel for work even though you're a lousy accountant? Allie, you're making a big mistake. When were you going to set the house on fire? Was I going to be in it? You're crazy. Oh my god. Stop playing dumb. The cops are already on their way to the house. And Cheryl. So you better figure out the story. You called the cops? Are you kidding me? Nope. Not kidding. You're going to regret that. I've had enough of your threats. I have enough evidence. You were going to kill me, take the money, and live happily ever after with your other family. Well, hopefully those kids can get over their father being in prison. You don't have any solid evidence. I have enough. You're getting locked up, buddy. I hate you. I should have done it sooner. That's what I thought. Too bad you didn't. Goodbye forever.
It's been three months since Lance was arrested. He was found guilty for trying to concoct a plan to murder me and take all my money. Ugh, men are so temperamental. I've been living with my best friend Cheryl as I get through the grieving process of my failed marriage. Thank God for her. Just goes to show, you think you know someone, and you don't have a clue. 